Well, a new day, time for the second event here in Norway. And with the sound of the Viking horn, it is time for the 25 meter boat pull. Well, here we are for the last five events for in the world's strongest Viking 2018 here in Norway. It's very cold, it's minus 15. We're gonna do a real Viking event, the boat pool. And I have Eagle next to me. He knows everything about the boat pool. Eagle, why are we doing a boat pool today? Yeah, it's a very interesting and it's a very easy explanation because when the Vikings conquered Europe, they came in a river and it got too shallow. The boat couldn't go anymore, so they had to drag the boat up onto the shore and then pull it and push it for some distance to get back to open waters again. So, today we're gonna to replicate that by pulling a Viking ship 25 meters, not as long as possible, of course, but as fast as possible. And you will see the fastest Viking here at Fefo. So then, the Fefo Arena is the venue for the boat pull, and Sean O'Hagan will go first, the Irishman. First time we've had a look at him in this event. He took ninth place, one slot ahead of Will Baggett at the World Finals last year. And he will put down a marker here. Good pace. Out on the icy snow as he crosses the finish line. Good pull for you. Yeah, it's a good pull. About time was a good pull. <laughs> but I'm trying to bother and the crowd and all, so everything's all good. So you're happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy enough. For it. Hopefully it's a top. Well, hopefully we see you in the top five on the end. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Good luck, man. Thank you. Good luck. So a time there for Sean O'Hagan of 18.94 as the event gets underway. Mika Tolo next, Steve Finn. Sporting a Manchester United hat there. Toro trying to beat O'Hagan's time. He's got a good rhythm at the start here. Good atmosphere being generated as well by the fans on the sideline. Heading towards the finish, it's going to be a very good time, just over 16 seconds. And Toro is done. How heavy are you? 180. And I'm also fast. <laughs> and power. So 18.07 in the end for Mika Toro, just ahead of O'Hagan. Krzysztof Radzikowski. He's the latest to haul this boat down from one end of the arena to the other. Just over 18 seconds, the time to beat. Looks like he'll beat it. He does. Nearly by two seconds. Christoph, it didn't look so fast to me. What do you think? I don't know how this looks because I'm pulling this. But I think it was fast. It was good, man. First time, 16.72. Polish power! Big power from the Poles. 16.72 for Radzikowski. He's the new leader. Final athlete to have a look at here is Dennis Chorus in the boat pull. Here he goes. A bit of a slip to start with for the German. Changes the course of the boat as well. It may cost him at the end, we'll see. Needs to be 16.72, set by Radzikowski. Just over that, just over 18 seconds in the end, but still a good time. Dennis, how did that feel in the thin air with minus 15? Uh, it's awesome. The, the air here is so thin. Uh, I'm not used to that, but the pull felt good. But the start was a little bit slow, so I hope it was a good time. Well. The pool felt good, the pool was good. Third place so far, 18.75. Yes! Yes! So 18.75 for Corus puts him in third place. And we can have a look now at the standings. Radzikowski winning that event, a time far superior to everyone else. And Gustafsson there, having won the first event, has lost the second. Overall then, Corus on top with 25 points after a solid start from him. Radzikowski close behind. Herrick makes the top three.